Hello, my name is Dan Chipman, and welcome to my workshop located in Oregon's Willamette Valley. It is Christmas Eve, and I've got a friend who wanted me to build him a box. He'd seen one that I'd done for my son, and uh, I'd like to share that project with you. So it's sitting right here on the counter, and uh, let me show you how it works. It's pretty fun. All right, so what we've got here is a puzzle box. The lid slides off, but you can't figure out how to do it right away. Well, like most boxes, it's got a secret slide. This slides down, and then if you've done something else, the lid can slide off. However, this puzzle box is a little bit unique in that it's got a mechanism inside very much like a padlock. It's got three tumblers with pins and they rotate. Let me make sure you can see this. So as the one goes around, one pin will catch and push the next one around. And then eventually they all turn. Now they each have notches in them, which allows this tumbler, which is currently up, it's up enough to catch a lid, a gap in the lid. So that until, until you do the combination, let's see if we can get this. All right, we've got to turn it enough to clear. And then we go to the first one. And then to the second stop. And then the third stop, here it comes. That'll drop out of the way. All right, so if I take this and get sawdust off it, slide this into place. Oh, helps if I put it on the right way. <laughs> okay, so it slides it into place. Now, to engage the lock, I have to be able to turn this. So I'll turn that and clear it. Now you notice that it won't come off. It slides to there and that's it. Now, so the whole mechanism, the whole concept is right now it can't slide either way. Because this is in the way and this is in the way. And obviously the lid is in the way to let the end turn. So I can't turn this to unlock it. That's why this first part will drop down and then this lid will slide over just far enough so that I can turn this. Now, I've arranged the tumblers inside so that it's got a combination. Now this is for, uh, like I said, this is for my friend's brother. He's gonna give it to him for Christmas and he's got a, some significant numbers here. Now his combination is, I'm gonna turn it around a couple times to clear it, make sure I've got it cleared. This combination is 11. You go back. This one I only have to go 360 degrees back to 11. Now in a normal combination you'd go to the number you want to go to and then go around again. Okay. And then the last number on this combination is 50. All right. Now I might have to, oh, and there it slides right open. There you go been a lot of fun making. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but I've arranged the, the top. I just noticed that the it changes color in the middle of the grain, so I took two pieces, glued them together, and made it so that there's a little pointer on the end. That's kind of fun, just the way that worked out. Each box is different. I don't uh, work from a, from a set pattern. Now, this is one of the first ones that I did. Like I said, this is for my son. This one's a little bit different in that it has a pin um, that keeps this top from sliding over. Right now, the pin is held in place by a small magnet. Um, so, in other words, what I have to do is take this, make sure that it's not pinching the pin anywhere in the mechanism. Oh, and I heard it drop. Did you hear that? It kind of bounced a little bit. I'll flip it back in place. Oh, there, it's in place, so the lid doesn't move. But if I get this and oh, I, I heard it drop. So now that slides over once again, just enough, so I can turn the end. Now my son is into magic tricks and whatnot. So I've got the combination set for him so that that's right side up. We'll go to an ace at the top, like that, all the way around. The 360 degrees and then to my next number. 
which is a queen, which isn't a number, sorry. And then we go all the way around again to the Joker. Right there. Now, it comes right open. Now this one is made out of purple heart and with an oak top. Once again, I have the same tumbler set up in there. And there's my pin, you see that? It's just uh, actually a polished nail set in there. Now, my first set of these, I was uh, not sure how to do it, so I made this sliding mechanism so that um, even when it's locked, when the tumbler, or when the locking mechanism is still locked, I can slide the top over enough to turn the end, right? And then, once again, the pin goes through both pieces here. So I've simplified my I've simplified my mechanism in this box and I like this much better, but this is still a lot of fun. Um, I don't need to use the pin, which is a complicated mechanism. It just this piece just slides down out of the way, which, you know, as far as a puzzle box is great. Most people wouldn't see that and even if they did, then it still has the mechanism in here to prevent people from opening it if they don't know the combination. So if I just spin this around, once again, clear it. See, it's, it's locked right there. It doesn't go anywhere. And slide that over, slide that up, and there we go. So there's, uh, there's my box for my friend. And then here's the box that I'm giving to my son tomorrow because it's Christmas tomorrow. So we'll spin that around, lock that in place. Now it doesn't go anywhere. It's just this fun, fun box with some things that I burned on the end of it. And there you go. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Once again, this has been Dan Chipman, and just showing you some of the stuff that I like to do. Have a Merry Christmas.